I'm not that flabby. This doesn't look that bad. I'm okay. Susan doesn't know what she's talking about. What's going on guys, Menthol here. On uh, today's video, we're gonna be talking about feelings. <laughs> All right, listen, I know I've made some depressing videos in the past and I'm really open on, on these videos and I like to share everything in my life if I'm having a good day or a bad day. But you'd honestly be surprised at how I act with people at work or uh, my friends. I don't really open up and as soon as something like starts to be serious or someone starts to talk about their feelings or trying to open up, I kind of just shut down and divert to comedy and, and comic relief. It's like my defense mechanism. So I've been seeing this girl. I, I realized that, you know, the old me would be able to open up and everything's fine and we can express ourselves and be honest and communicate everything that we're feeling. <laughs> Living in a house with two guys, there's not a lot of that going on. A lot of it's just internalizing everything that you feel and you just move on throughout the day. There's a lot of that and that's fine and I've gotten used to it and it's kind of hardened me a little bit and I'm kind of just, you know, I kind of have a shell. So it's weird now seeing someone and having to revisit that and open up about stuff like what I'm feeling that day and what I'm thinking about and communicating and compromising and, and texting all day and, and it's a lot. But the thing is, I like it. It's just uncomfortable and weird for me to get used to again because I feel like I, it's almost like nostalgic. I go back to like old relationships where I was all open and honest and we need to talk about things and me now is like, fuck all that shit, feelings are gay. <laughs> But, but kind of though, like that's kind of how I feel lately, is that fuck it, like it'll work itself out. It's not that important. It's not important enough to address. So I'm kind of getting acquainted with that again, and it's really fucking weird. Even though it's uncomfortable and weird, I'm reminded daily now of the importance of doing that because things that I've thought about daily that I haven't recognized as things I've been thinking about and bugging me are coming to the surface and I'm starting to realize, wow, there's a lot of shit that I need to talk about that maybe I'm not talking about in these videos. And then I thought, hey, that would be a great video topic that maybe people could relate to. So for the past two years now, I talk to the camera off and on about shit that's going on in my life. Great shit, happy shit, sad shit, uh, whatever. That's great, but it's almost just like, I'm not getting perspective from a camera. The camera's not looking at me like, oh, really? And how does that make you feel? It's more just me thinking my thoughts without any rebuttals or any contradiction or different perspective. I, I see in the comments section from people, and that's great, and you guys are kind of like my pseudo-therapist, which I really appreciate, but it I don't get that instant communication back of like, hey, maybe that thinking is kind of toxic. Maybe you should talk to a human being about, about these fe very serious feelings that you're feeling. Get what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? I'm in a weird mood. I'm sick today and I didn't have to work and I went home early yesterday and blah, blah, blah. And I've just been stuck at home watching YouTube videos. So I'm a little, I haven't talked today. This is my first time talking and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. Back to feelings. I'm getting used to people opening up to me and me sharing my own vulnerabilities and thoughts back to other people people or this person that I'm seeing and it's healthy and healthy feels really weird right now but I'm enjoying it and I just realized like a lot of people probably do this out of defense like they put up this shell like everything's fine as soon as something gets serious they use comic relief or some sort of defense mechanism to get out of it and that vulnerability is scary as fuck because for me at least I know that people could use it against me especially people on the internet which is weird why I would open up to you guys instead of a normal human being it's it's almost it's more impersonal that's a word right Imper it's not as personal talking to a camera and you guys than it is someone in my immediate life or whatever so um, it's kind of a cop-out like I say that I'm talking about my feelings but am I though like I am but I'm not getting someone's advice or opinion on stuff that I'm saying I think it's good and and I totally get the mentality of wanting to put up that wall and and not be judged or have things that you say used against you in the future for example like I've heard of friends dating someone and they will share something in their life that maybe they're insecure about something that bothers them and then in future fights it gets used against them almost like weaponized which is shitty but that's just 
it sucks because that makes people want to shut in and not open up about stuff. That's like why people explode instead of, you know, just opening up and releasing that tension or that, that feeling that they have. But yeah, I just wanted to share that kind of thought for the day. Maybe open up to people, not anybody, not some stranger, but just people that you can trust with those kind of feelings or, or stuff that's weighing heavy on your mind. At least, you know, it, it's new to me and I'm kind of enjoying it even though there's a lot of trust that goes into it, opening up about stuff that maybe you're embarrassed about, you're insecure about, you're you're upset about, you're happy. It doesn't have to be some terrible shit that you can share. You can be like, wow, I'm so happy that I got this promotion at work. Even that is kind of scary because these days with cancel culture and, and cynicism, the world's crazy these days. So I understand, even though we're all connected through the internet, social media, whatever, texting, phones, even though we're all connected, we're all completely shut off in this weird way. There's no personal connection. I'll be sitting on the couch with Alec and we'll be watching something, but we won't even be watching it. We'll just be on our phones, not even talking to each other. It's such a weird thing these days that, you know, part of me grew up being outside and hanging out with friends and playing football. Then I also had that other side where the other half of the time I was inside on instant messenger and playing video games. So it's weird to see this new generation grow up so isolated, but so connected at the same time. Just thought for the day, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. About. Uh, let me know what you guys think of feelings uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I hope you guys have a great weekend and be safe and uh, yeah okay bye I don't know. mother I don't want to take my medicine 24 years in the gutter Take these pills I'm sick of being okay against my will I'm losing it I'm losing it Ain't a thing in this world that I'm gonna miss It's all fixed smiles and leather jackets We're full of it Yeah, we're full of shit I don't know who to trust Shut the lights off, they took the car in, I bought a saw